Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 3A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 72, and the question I'm going to do is number 13. So it reads, a particle is fired from a point on a horizontal plane with initial velocity 50 i hat plus 49 j hat. Find its range. So the first thing is to note, of course, the same things I've done with every question so far. The gravity is negative 9.81 meters per second squared in this direction. This is our Cartesian or xy plane. And this, these are our usual unit vectors i hat and j hat. So the first thing we need to do is to sketch what's going on. So I'm going to draw a velocity time diagram. Velocity measured in meters per second and time measured in seconds. Alright. Next thing I'm going to do is sketch the actual motion. And we're going to say that the projectile begins with a velocity of u, like so. And after that it continues and ends up with v, like so. So u is projected at an angle theta and u is a resultant vector made up of two component unit vectors. The two component unit vectors, they're the vectors required such that when they're added they will make u. And these are the two vectors here. This vector from here to here is in the x dimension, x axis, or the i hat unit vector direction, and this one here is in the y, di y dimension, or the j hat unit vector direction. So they're both separate, and when you add this one and this one together, so we'll say when you add u sub y and u sub x together, you get the vector u. And just to write that explicitly, u is equal to u sub x i hat plus u sub j. Uh, u sub, excuse me, u sub y j hat, like that. All right. So what's next? We need to find its range. So we're told that the particle is projected at 50 i hat plus 49 j hat. So that means this is equal to 49. This is equal to 50, like so. Just a matter of interest. Let's find the magnitude of the uh, the velocity itself. So this is just a right angle triangle. So the magnitude of u is equal to the square root of 49 squared plus 50 squared like so. Remember, it's just a bit of Pythagoras theorem. So just put up my calculator, just give us a moment there. And the answer for the, to the magnitude of the, uh, the magnitude of the velocity is 70 meters per second or approximately so, so anyway. Now that we're asked to find the range and what is the range? Well, The range is when is the maximum distance uh, that the particle moves along and we know that it's the maximum distance sorry about the rocking of the table there we know it's the maximum distance when the particle is no longer in the air so s sub y or the distance above the ground is equal to zero so if you say this is y this is the all right, and when you you vast like so. All right, so what is u? U is forty nine. The acceleration is g. The t time is t. That's all we know. So let's use v is equal to u plus a t. So here it's forty nine plus g t. And s is equal to ut plus a half at squared, so 49t plus a half gt squared. And what we want to do is find the time at which s sub y here is equal to zero, and at that time find the distance in the x direction. So what we do is we let this here equal to zero. All right. So we know that 49 plus a half gt squared is equal to zero. Therefore, and uh, what's that? One hundred. Sorry, ninety-eight plus g t squared. Is that or forty-eight, ninety-eight, forty-nine t? So this is ninety-eight t g t squared is equal to zero. Now this is a polynomial, and we know that because we have powers. If it's got powers, it's a polynomial. The highest power it gives the degree, so in this case we have a polynomial of degree 2, and we call a polynomial of degree 2 a quadratic. What we're missing, of course, is the plus 
t to the 0, which is 1, but we're actually 0 times t to the 0, like so. Anyway, so this is a polynomial. Because this, this will say this coefficient here is equal to 0, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. I would usually use that formula. I'm going to use that formula where I will say the number multiplied by t to the 0 is not 0 that makes any sense so like where this actually matters in this case it doesn't so anyway let's solve that I'm going to take out t so we have 98 plus um, oh, let's put in gravity now so we have 9 8 1 t is equal to 0 if you have two things multiplied together to get 0 one of them must be 0 so we have t is equal to 0 and 98 minus 9.81 t is equal to 0 Therefore, in this case here, t is equal to 98 divided by 9.81. So we'll say that's approximately 10 seconds. All right, so I'm just going to check that here. And we find that both those answers are correct. OK, so now what we need to do is find the distance, uh, the distance along the x-axis or the range at both t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 10. So let's just do that. So here's the here's for the x-axis. Okay, we have U V A S T. Alright. So time will say 0 and 10. The initial velocity is 50. Like that. The final velocity is unknown. The acceleration is 0. So what's the distance? We're going to use ut plus a half at squared, and that's just going to be 50t. All right. So as a result, the two distances associated with time t is equal to zero and time t is equal to ten are fifty times zero, which is equal to zero, and fifty times ten equal to five hundred. Does that make any sense? Well, of course it does. At time t is equal to zero, it's it's not it's on the ground and hasn't travelled anywhere, so of course its distance is going to be zero, and its maximum range is five hundred meters, which is correct. So that's pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.